I'm Dominic Stevens. Over the past week we've seen coronavirus spreading around the world, New Zealand imposing travel bans on a range of new countries, actually the first cases emerging in New Zealand, and share markets around the world really dropping hard, upwards of 10%. Foreign central banks have responded to this financial market freakout quite vigorously. The Federal Reserve came out with a 50 basis point cut actually outside of its normal meeting schedule. Canada's gone 50 basis points and Aussie's gone 25. Now I think this makes it clear that the Reserve Bank of New Zealand will follow suit with a 25 basis point cut in March. It's possible the Reserve Bank could go earlier than March 25th or that they could go 50, but neither of those things is my view. Actually, the Reserve Bank of New Zealand has sounded much more measured in the communications that it has given to date. They've tended to focus on their role in ensuring that the banking system and payment system remain stable, rather than emphasising monetary policy. Now, I tend to agree with that stance, actually. I don't really see what lower interest rates, or indeed a general big bang fiscal stimulus, would do in a situation of such a specific disruption to economic activity. I think the best government response is very specific. Government should ensure that the wheels of government and the wider economy continue to turn. Obviously, that the health system is ready for any outbreak here. Um, government perhaps could provide targeted assistance to firms who are experiencing a temporary disruption to cash flow. And similarly, I think government should be providing targeted assistance to disrupted families. There could be people who are in perfectly viable financial situations who suddenly find themselves out of work. Now, all of this is likely to mean that the government ends up running a deficit this year, and that is perfectly acceptable. In fact, this is the reason we run surpluses in normal times. We wear that fiscal straitjacket in normal years so that we're ready to run deficits when the proverbial hits the fan like it has at this time. Talk to you next week.